Hey, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Roland XPS 10 to FL Studio. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to properly set up and use your Roland XPS 10 in conjunction with FL Studio. You will be able to connect it to your PC or laptop running the program, and you can use it to record your keys, inputs, and so on and manage all sorts of audio settings. So in order to do this, you will have to establish a connection. This is going to be done using primarily a USB cable. So you plug one end of the cable into the XPS 10 and the other one goes into your PC or laptop. There's no secret to this. Of course, if you have a different connection type, then just use that instead. But the baseline is that it needs to be connected to your PC with the proper cable that your XPS 10 or any other model uses. Now, if necessary, download any drivers available on their website. And as long as the XPS 10 is connected, launch FL Studio, go into the options, and then MIDI settings, which should be the first one. When you choose MIDI settings, you will be able to find it available here at the bottom on input. So the primary option that you have to look for is input. As long as you enable it as the input device, so you click on it and choose the option to enable here, all of the inputs will be recorded. Click on the line that corresponds to the XPS 10 to highlight it, enable, and you will now see the controller type. You can use generic one or selecting a specific one from the list. Generic controller is usually fine if you cannot find the XPS 10 on the list. With this done, you are good to go. Close the MIDI setting windows, open a virtual instruments in FL Studio, and play notes. They should appear and you will now hear the audio of the sounds being triggered by your keyboard. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect Roland XPS 10 to FL Studio. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.